Okay, Proverbs 17. A dry crust eaten in peace is better than steak every day, along with argument and strife. A wise slave will rule his master's wicked sons and share their estate. Silver and gold are purified by fire, but Yahuwah purifies hearts. Oop, the cat's playing with the cord. The kitten's playing with the cord, sorry. The wicked enjoy fellowship with others who are wicked. Liars enjoy liars. That is true. That's why the godly and the wicked and the liars do not get along. There's strife because the spirit of Yahuwah in a person that is serving him is always going to know or be affected by a person who's lying. A wicked person is someone who has said, I'm going to keep sinning and I don't want to stop. A wicked person is someone who has chosen to live for the flesh and absolutely refuses to do anything different. A wicked person has given themselves over to the devil, over to hell. That's different than someone who might be struggling with something. Very different. The wicked mindset is very different than someone caught in a sin. Narcissists have evidence of wickedness because they enjoy hurting people. They enjoy lying. They enjoy getting away with things. They enjoy being deceptive. They have duping laughter when they think they are getting away with it. That is a wicked person. It's different than a, than a, than a person who is trying to be free, trying to walk right. Very different. Mocking the poor is mocking the, the creator who made them. He will punish those who rejoice at others' misfortunes. An old man's grandchildren are his crowning glory. A child's glory is his father. Truth from a rebel or lies from a king are both unexpected. A bribe works like magic. Whoever uses it will prosper, and that is not true. This is a fact, but not to be encouraged. Other translations don't translate that out that way about a bribe. And it's not something for the godly to do. Unless, of course, your life was at stake, maybe. I don't know. I can think of some some situations, maybe. If you could get out of prison, <laughs> if you were in a camp, and you could bribe someone to let you out, I think I would. Love forgets mistakes. Nagging about them parts the best of friends. Mistakes are different than intentional deception. And yes, we need to forgive. A rebuke to a man of common sense is more effective than a hundred lashes on the back of a rebel. The wicked live for rebellion. They shall be severely punished. And I have to add, if they do not repent, this is pre-cross. It is safer to meet a bear robbed of her cubs than a fool caught in his folly. If you repay evil for good, a curse is upon your home. It is hard to, that if someone's good to you and you're evil to them, a curse will be on your home. I believe that. I have seen things happen to people, scary things happen to people that I knew had come against one of God's people. I've, I've witnessed it with my own eyes. If you repay evil for good, a curse is upon your home. It is hard to stop a quarrel once it starts, so don't let it begin. The Lord despises those who say that bad is good and good is bad. It is senseless to pay tuition to educate a rebel who has no heart for truth. A true friend is always loyal and a brother is born to help in time of need. It is poor judgment to countersign another's note, to become responsible for his debt. Don't go sigh for loans. Sinners love to fight. Boasting is looking for trouble. An evil man is suspicious of everyone and tumbles into constant trouble. It's no fun to be a rebel's father. A cheerful heart does good like medicine, but a broken spirit makes one sick. As I have been getting um, healthier and freer out of a particular type of stress that I was in, my body's getting better. My heart is cheerful. My body is improving. A cheerful heart really does do good like medicine. It is wrong to accept a bribe to twist justice. If I'm locked up unjustly and I use a bribe to get out, I'm not using a bribe to twist justice. <laughs> Wisdom is the main pursuit of sensible men, but a fool's goals are at the ends of the earth. A rebellious son is a grief to his father and a bitter blow to his mother. But you know what? A good son is a blessing to his mother. I know because I have a good son. How short-sighted 
to fine the godly for being good and to punish nobles for being honest. The man of few words and settled mind is wise. Therefore, even a fool is thought to be wise when he is silent. It pays him to keep his mouth shut. And that's where I am right now in my life, that I have got to have... I've got to have intense discernment about when to speak and when not to. I know when the Holy Spirit's on me to write. I know when the Holy Spirit's on me to do a video. But my emotions get in my way of my mouth sometimes in certain circumstances in my life. And so I need to be a woman of few words. And my mind is settled and it should be wise. Therefore, even a fool, if I am a fool, I am thought to be wise if I am silent. It will pay me to keep my mouth shut. Hallelujah. Shalom, shalom. Have a wonderful day. And if you find this and you read it, I hope it blesses you. Peace.